That's all good. My first guest is an Academy Award-winning actor and a comedian. Uh, his new comedy CD entitled Live 2002 and the DVD version of his HBO special Live on Broadway will arrive in stores on November 19th. Please welcome Robin Williams. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice when you have Mexican wrestling shoes. Juntos amigos, el máximo guendalino, el huevón, pilacure. So this is something you're exploring on the side now. You I might... want to have another career. <laughs> if okay. the acting thing does not pay off, you can always put on a mask and not walk into a bank. <laughs> it's very good to have these shoes because if not, people go, you're gay. <laughs> A very I difficult... get that a lot, yes. I know. Well, <laughs> oh, oh no, don't start that already right there. All right, let's leave that There's alone. There's Al Gore going, Conan. <laughs> Call me. I swear. he was. I mean, I'm sure you've met him a lot, but this is what he does when he hears music, almost like an animal, a python yeah. or something. Bad white boy dancing, like, hey, come <laughs> yeah, on right, now. Right. I lost. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a frightening thing when you see him sometimes try and be hip. It's almost like, hey, bro, I'm going to throw it down. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I send it out to my poops. Peeps. Bye. <laughs> Whatever you prefer. Whatever it is, my main homes. <laughs> but it is, yeah, he is a very, very, you know, he has to, well, he's in desperate need of a charisma implant. <laughs> that would be very nice. Just to, get, just to kind of kick him into the next gear. Right, right. I saw one night, though, where he was almost religious, where he was, uh, he had to, it was a big benefit where uh, Clinton was, somebody heckled Clinton, and he kind of, I'll get you, boy. <laughs> And Al kicked into that kind of, there is a spirit here today. <laughs> the baby Jesus loves you. What I'm do you like, think happened to him in that moment? I think at that moment he went, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. I should I'm fall back and be benign, man. Like you <laughs> yeah, said, right. I am not one of your people. <laughs> yeah. Minority report, go back to the election, move it around. <laughs> Confused Hebrews, Miami, moving back. <laughs> it is now, a bizarre moment. Let's talk. I, I was watching the news recently because every now and then I like to see what's happening in the world. It's a good thing once in a while. Just so you like walk once outside he... and go, I'm okay. I'm okay. And Especially I... when the weather's by Sybil the last few days. Here it's not nice, although it's cleared up nicely now, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> yeah. and I love the way the stars twinkle. Too. Yes. <laughs> look, we couldn't afford the stars twinkling, oh, all right? Look, oh, look Letterman, at it now. Letterman can afford to have the stars twinkle. There you go. They're twinkling. I know you believe now. <laughs> Boys and girls, look at all the stars. Yeah. Can you see Uranus? It's yeah. up there. All right. Look, I run a clean show. Yeah, oh, wait, right. no, I don't. No, actually. you don't. No. Yeah. How about these, my friend? All right, stop that. <laughs> you were talking about the news. No, I'm thinking about that now. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. It's small but fierce. <laughs> hey, yeah. you do. Yeah. Hey, hey, buddy. Wait, hey, don't talk about that. Hey, sorry. stop that. <laughs> Hey, how come he got the watch? <laughs> Listen. All right, now we I want, want to go back to the news. show. That's I'm right. trying to run a respectable, yeah, a respectable show. Yeah, show the fake New York Times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, little paper, I mean, little paper. You told them. They had them convinced that was real. That's true. <laughs> watch no, out I'm, now. I'm watching the news, and I see that you're in Afghanistan entertaining the troops, which I think was a very great thing that you did it that. It's an interesting thing to do. It's like one of those things you go... Oh. You get off... Yep. You have to, you've, I flew from uh, Paris, I was there for promoting the movie and that saved half the flight, because if not, you fly 20 hours on a C-17, which is like a, like a 747 on steroids, big plane. Right, right, right. And there's just, they put in seats in the back of this thing where you could play basketball. Even Shaq would go, this is a big ass plane. <laughs> and you're, you're sitting backwards and it's basically like a plane for the incontinent because just the ass falls down, you know? Right, right. They, and they, they fly on the jet and then you get to Turkey and then you start taking C-130s which are like, really loud! 
you know, it's a type of plane where everybody gets off the plane going, did you enjoy it? <laughs> that was a very good flight. <laughs> I think we should go now. <laughs> I shouldn't smoke back here you No, no. And uh, they say it's safe, you know, because when you get into Afghanistan, all of a sudden I went, oh, this is safe, right? And I see I'm on a Spanish plane because it's a coalition force, and these Spaniards start putting on Kevlar going, it's totally safe, Robin. Will you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> and they start strapping on going, no, it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if I look like a beekeeper right now. <laughs> And then they, they start locking and loading, and the moment they land, they do a combat landing, which is they come in at 45 degrees. So you're like this, going, are we going to pull out? <laughs> oh, no, really, are we, we going to level off? This is really scary. <laughs> and finally, they level off and go, hi, kidding you. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you, when you take off, they do a combat takeoff, which is like, ah! And then they rev the engines up. <laughs> but it is that wild thing. The moment you get off the plane, everybody's heavily armed. It's like Charlton Heston's wet dream. Right. right. <laughs> Every... He's dreamed of that world yeah. for so long. Finally, guns don't kill people. Apes with guns kill people. <laughs> yeah. Ah. It's alive. But... <laughs> I want to play the tape back on that one. Wait. <laughs> there we go, yeah. But the, the nice thing is that people are just so happy to have someone get off the plane and just say, oh, you're here. Right. And they're, they're, the amazing thing is they, they can't drink alcohol. They, I guess Muslim country, number one. Right. And women dressed in hefty bags, number two. Right. <laughs> and we have to respect, we have to respect have that to respect while we're that. there. You yeah. have to respect that, because you don't want people going, woo, burka, babe. Woo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, hockey player, get over here, girl! Yo, Freddy Krueger! Woo! No, they don't want that. They don't want that. So they drink Odul's, which is a non-alcoholic beer. Right. Which is kind of like using a Nerf vibrator. It doesn't really work. <laughs> you know? These guys are pounding down about 50 of them going, I am so not drunk. <laughs> But they, I, I would do these shows. For, they couldn't have large gatherings of people. You can't have a little mini Woodstock, and all of a sudden the Taliban are going, at last, they're there. So you could perform for like 400 people one place. And in, in Kandahar, I did this kind of a show on the back of a truck. And there's a bunch of guys watching the show, and I see over in the back, there's three guys sitting on top of a, pro a propane tank smoking a cigarette, and I went, this is a wild group. <laughs> And then you meet the special forces guys, which are like heavily armed Amish, you know? <laughs> it's like these guys with full beards and a, right. you know, semi-automatic weapon, fully automatic weapon going, how are you, Robin? Nice to meet you. Get in the carriage, Ezekiel. <laughs> you know? And they're there, and everyone wants them to shave off their beards, but they're supposed to blend in. They're right. supposed to, you know, be part to go up, and they go on these, uh, these raids, and they start showing you the stuff that they use, like the night vision goggles, which are, you can tell what religion people are. You know, it's like, whoa, Johnny. And you can see... <laughs> God. Many people will be getting on the way home, they'll go, oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Write that one down, but... But they have all the good stuff. I mean, oh, yeah, the stuff they got that, that thing, the unmanned, uh, the unmanned drone called the Predator, and they nicknamed it the Flying Dildo, which is what it looks like. <laughs> you look up in the sky going, my God, look at that <laughs> girl. <laughs> and I, I wrote down, you should call it the Little Fokker. You know, so, <laughs> you know, it flies hard, flies long, sponsored by Viagra. And I put that on the side, and then they're going, you, you civilians are real funny. <laughs> And this thing was like, and takes off. It, and I, that I doesn't imagine, sound like a good plane if yeah, it does that. When you see it, and all you have to have is one Pakistani with a remote control going, I'm going to mess with the government. <laughs> I'm going to crash your billion dollar toy. I come on, I mess with your billion dollar toy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great, great time. I had a wonderful time. And I was, you do this thing where you sign autographs like crazy, you know, and, and take pictures like, and once again, it's like every, men, women, Everybody's coming up to t uh, take a picture, but they're all like, you know, with, sh with shotguns, machine guns going, excuse me, Robert, can you, thank you. <laughs> and you're taking pictures, and for me, it was just a great thing to let them know, number one, they're not forgotten, because a lot right, of them have been there right. for a year. Right, right, right. Number two, it was, it was an amazing place to see, because Afghanistan, a guy who could put on roofs could make a big living there. Right, right. <laughs> Because it's, uh, there, you, you fly overhead going, that's, there's no roofs anywhere. Right, right. And it's mined like crazy. I mean, there's, there'll be a long time before they have uh, the Afghan open. It'll be a difficult time. Right. The fifth green, oops, okay. 
<laughs> well, it's a, it's a great thing you went. We got to take a break. We'll take come back. Break, we'll More come back. with Robin Williams in a second. Stick around. <laughs>